In this video, we're going to show you how to connect LED lights to the controller and then the controller to the power supply. So stay tuned. So welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, now consider subscribing and hit the uh, bell and hit the all bell so like that you can get the latest video. So now what we're going to do is we want to show you how to connect this power supply to the controller and to LEDs. And it's going to be a simple way where you don't have to use a soldering iron. For those of you that perhaps it's uh, find it a little bit challenging using a soldering iron or perhaps you don't have one, then I'm going to show you a different way that you can connect uh, the LEDs too by just using some wire nuts and this is an orange wire nut there are different sizes you may need a gray wire nut if you only have two wires that you're going to wire twist you know especially if you have a low voltage wire going to your LEDs so what we're going to show you here is just some basic stuff and right now we have we're going to connect the cord for the power so now you have three wires which you use a knife to kind of score it and, and be careful not to hit any of the wires because you don't want to nick it. And then you want to go ahead and strip off about a quarter of an inch of wire of each one. You want to twist clockwise. So now the first wire we're going to connect is the green because we know the green is the ground. So as you can see here that that's our ground right there. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this guy up. Now you want to put your wire on the left side is always ideal of the screw. And the reason for the left side is as you twist this screw, it kind of like it hugs it into the screw. If you were to do it on the right side it, and as you turn the screw, it's going to kind of spread it outwards and you don't want that. Your neutral wire is your white. We're going to go ahead and connect that. And just make it snug. You don't have to really do it super tight because remember this is some plastic here. And now you have your load. And so you want to put it between the washers so it can have a nice contact. And notice I'm kind of like snuggling. So that's how you connect. Uh, these three wires. Now this particular power supply has a little protector there so you don't touch it and it's good. This is a 150 12 volt so that's what we're working with. I'm going to pop that open because we're going to use it. Now this guy is ready to have power. So just to kind of show you that this is working properly let's go ahead and plug this guy in. We should see a green light. There's the green light. There you go. So we're going to unplug it. Green light should be dimming down. That means the power's off. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up down below so like that I can know that you like what you're seeing. Now this controller has several ways that you connect this to. You do have the option to use a plug like this and with the connector like this at the very end right here for power plug it in and boom you got power but unfortunately what happens is that sometimes this little power supply is not enough to give power to your LEDs depending on how much LEDs you have so it's always nice you know if it's a small strip then no problem 16 feet no problem but if you're doing more than 16 feet you know you got to check your little power supplies that that's why these come in handy these mean wells now, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect our power supply to this little connector. This connector is removable, but when you put it in here, it makes it so much easier to work with to put the screws. Now, notice that you're going to have here um, for the power supply, a negative and a positive, and that's for power. And then you have your V plus, and that's going to be for your LED light power. And then you have your RGB that you're going to be connecting to there. And they're going to be going into these holes. So right now, I want to do is connect 
the power supply into the controller. Let me go ahead and put my glasses on. Now we have low voltage wire here. In this low voltage, it's four wires, but we're only going to be using two wires. So why waste the other two? So I'm going to double it up. So I'm using red and white together because red and white for the LED industry indicates power. And then black and green, I'm going to twist them together. I'm only going to do about quarter, 3 16 quarter of an inch of exposed wire. Then on the other side, uh, I got them twisted the same color. So the red and white, they match, and the green, they match. And that one's going to be about 3 16 also. So we're going to go ahead and connect a about the quarter inch one, we're going to connect it to our power supply. In our power supply, we're going to go ahead and do uh, our V plus right here. Our V plus, we're going to go ahead and put our red and white. Remember, put it on the left side. And our V negative, we're going to go ahead and put our black and green, and we're going to put on the left side of the screw. nice and snug so it'll look something like that I'm gonna put this kick plate down to protect it now that's done that's all you need to do with your power supply now we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our little controller here and remember we said power had the plus and minus well the red and white is gonna be for our plus the green and black for our negative so I'm going to go ahead and put it this way since I'm right-handed. Uh, then we're going to use one of these screwdrivers. It's got a small little flat head. And then we're going to go ahead and then loosen up these screws. Actually, I'm going to loosen up all the screws. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put the black and green into this hole right here. Nice and snug, not too tight. Remember it's plastic. And then the red and white is going to be in the plus, power plus. And then always make sure to give it a little tug just to make sure. Now this is connected to your power supply. And how do we verify is we're going to look up this green light that's going to be here. And then this light's going to be here. I'm going to prop this up so you guys can see the green light a little bit better there. So now watch what happens when I plug it in. I don't know if you guys can see that. My light is on here. That's a red light. And then there's my green light. That means we got power. Okay. So let me unplug this. And now we'll take it to the next step. Now this pigtail here, it's like it sounds like. It's a short tail in order so you can hook up, hook up multiple wires to one end. You can see this particular end is stripped about 3 sixteenths of an inch. And then this other end, it's stripped a little bit a little bit longer just so we can tie in more wires with it. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the shorter end to our controller. So this shorter end, the V plus, we talked about it earlier, that's going to be our power. So because I have a white wire, our white's going to be power. But now for some wires, it does not have white, it may have black and blue, then black will be your power. So then let's go ahead and insert it here. Remember I loosen up these screws beforehand. We want to make sure that nice and tight as you go to the end. And then just snug the wire down. As you snug it, just give it a little tug to make sure it doesn't come out. And then what you want to do is put your R and G. R is for red. And then G is for green. And then what you have left over is your black, which will be blue, or if you have a blue wire, it would be blue. And then we'll connect it there. 
and give it a little tug. Now you've got the pigtail connected to your controller so you can put multiple. Now please understand that each controller can handle so much watts of LEDs. So that it's all relative according to how much LEDs you're going to be connecting to your controller will work. You need to check with your manufacturer to make sure how much watts can this one controller handle. And so the way I'm teaching you is if you have, for example, three rolls of five meters of LEDs each uh, and you don't want to solder them, then you can have a low voltage wire running to each LED and that's where you're going to use your gray nut wire to hook it up to the little pigtail that comes on the LED strip, something like this. Normally most LEDs comes with a little strip like this and then you hook it up one of the low voltage down to your controller and you're going to use your gray wire nut is ideal for that. Then, what you're going to do is, at the end of all the three wires, we will hook it up to this. So that's what's coming up next. You have three rows of LEDs. Let's say they're 16 feet, 4 inches each. So this is just a mock-up. Then you have the pigtails coming out from the LEDs. And so what I did is, I went ahead and stripped them about almost a half inch. So like that, we can have plenty of wires grabbing. But, so once you strip them, please make sure you twist your wires clockwise. Now why clockwise and not counterclockwise? Well, the, one of the main reasons is that your wire nut has to turn clockwise in order to grab the wire, this wire here. It only goes clockwise to grab it, so if you do it the other way, it just would not work well. So now, what you want to do now is connect all the same colors. So you have the green wire here, and the green, and the green. So let's connect all these green together. And I like to bend these guys down in order so I can twist them so they can grab each other so they don't slide. Okay, so that's twisted. Now we're going to do is grab all the red ones together. So all the red ones, all the red ones. Now I got all those colors together. Now here's the thing though. My blue right here. If you follow it, this is green wire. This particular brand, they messed up on labeling the LEDs. I can guarantee you that this light, this side is not blue. It's going to be green according to the wire. That's why you always test them beforehand. The blue wire will be green. So now that we have these connected, now what we want to do is bring our wire nuts. Now we want to do is this. We know that our black is power, so let me connect that right off the bat. So we're going to go ahead from the pigtail. From the pigtail, we're going to connect my white, which is power, to my black of the LEDs, which is power also. Now we want to go ahead and stick our wire nut, twist it, hold it here tight until you feel it turning, and then give it a little pull to make sure that it won't come off on you. So now we're going to connect green to green, red to red. I always connect those first because when it comes to the blue, I'm not sure if that's going to be black or, or, or blue wire, depending on your spool. Now we're going to connect red to red. Now look, see how it comes off? So I'm gonna make sure that's got something to bite in. Don't make it too smooth as you start spinning. Boom, there you go. Now we're gonna go my black wire. 
which is happening to connect it to blue, is going to go to my blue wires here. Nice and snug. So that's how you connect the power supply here. Put it all in this, this so you guys can see it. So that's all connected. Now it's the matter of verifying that's working. Now you do have a little keypad that we use in order to control the power and most keypads here, little controller has a little plastic so you can save your battery. You wanna pull it out. I'm gonna save this to the side. Now we're gonna plug it. Moment of truth. Lights on, as you can see here. And then also you can see the green light and the power supply. I'll move this out of the way. Now we're gonna turn power, we're gonna turn power on the controller. Boom, there's our lights. Now the way you check it to make sure it's connected, you wanna make sure your red, green, blue are on. So let's go for red. There's our red, there's our green, and there's our blue. And this controller is pretty good as RF, radio frequency. On another video you can check out about the RF and why is it beneficial compared to the other one. And this particular one has a Fade 7. There you go, you can do all sorts of things. Fade 3, Fade 7 basically means that it will use 7 colors to go through the cycle. Fade 3 will go RGB, red, green, blue, and it will cycle through that. And so this is how you connect the LEDs to the controller and to the power supply. Real simple method, especially for those of you that may not have a soldering iron or just don't want to solder. You can easily do it with wire nuts and also with the pigtail. But please make sure that you check with the manufacturer in order to make sure that your, power, your controller can handle the amount of LEDs that you're putting to it. Now, if you have questions on how to figure out the right power supply, well, check out the video right up here because I have videos to help you to figure out the calculation to get the correct power supply. So I hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Please, if it's your first time, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you love this content. Let me know in the, in the comments below and what you think of it and if it's something that you'll be able to use in the future. Guys, have a good one.